Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 6 matrix and determinants. So today we focus on inverse of square matrix and Kramer's rule. So after revising this lesson, you are expected to determine inverse of a square matrix and apply Kramer's rule to solve system of linear equations. So now let's proceed to the lesson. A square matrix A is said to be invertible or non-singular if and only if there is a square matrix B such that the product of A times B and B times A gives you identity matrix identity matrix where this identity matrix where this identity matrix has the same order as a the size of this identity matrix is the same as matrix a and the inverse of a matrix if it exists it is unique the inverse of a matrix is this if it exists it's unique and uh, we can evaluate inverse of a square matrix if you can evaluate inverse of a matrix if a matrix is only a square matrix. That means only square matrix can have an inverse. An inverse. Now, the inverse of a matrix A, the inverse of a matrix A is whenever it exists, it is denoted by this one, it is A power of minus 1 so we can read it as a inverse a inverse you have to note this a and a inverse have the same order they have the same size a matrix that does not have inverse is called singular matrix if a matrix if it doesn't have an inverse we call it this singular matrix okay now Let's see this example. Here it says that show that these two matrix are inverse of each other. To check this, if this one, assume this matrix A is B, if this one is the inverse of this one, then the product of these two matrix must give us identity matrix of order this one, 2 by 2. So let's check this one solution. Take this one, the first matrix, 3, 1, 5, 2, times the other one, 2, minus 1, minus 5, and 3. So, uh, we multiply this row by column, and so this is the first row multiplies the column and therefore you have this one 3 multiplies 2 it is 6 and this one multiplies negative 5 it is minus 5 and second this row multiplies the second column and 3 multiplies negative 3 it is negative 3 and this one multiplies 3 you will have positive 3 here this one multiplies uh, this row, the second row, multiplies this column, and therefore, 
5 times 2 it is 10 and 2 times negative 5 is this negative 10 and the product of this also 5 times negative 1 is this negative 5 2 times 3 is this positive 6 therefore when you add this you get this result 6 minus 5 is it is 1 minus 3 plus it is 0 and this one is also it is 0 and the sum of these two it is 1 therefore as you can see the product of the two gives you identity matrix of order uh, 2 by 2 which, which is equal to the order of the given matrix not only this one even you can check this uh, you can multiply uh, by changing these two so uh, 2 2 minus 5 and minus 1 3 times second matrix 3 5 3 5 1 2 3 5 1 2 by the way you can multiply these two when you multiply you can check by yourself when you multiply these two you get the same result 1 0 0 1 since since the product of these two matrix in the given order the first time the second or second times the first gives you identity matrix an identity matrix so one of the matrix is the inverse of the other so this is it therefore therefore uh, 3 5 3 5 1 2 1 2 and 3 5 1 2 and uh, 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 minus 5 minus 5 3 these are are inverse to each other are inverse to each other are inverse they are inverse to each other so this is it now uh, let's continue to the other part so this is how we did the question so they are inverse to each other now let's continue to how to find the inverse of invertible matrix uh, using a joint using a joint the adjoint of a square matrix a is this defined as the transpose of the transpose of matrix c where this matrix c is a matrix of cofactors of uh, the given matrix therefore c is waste or c i j is a matrix of cofactors of the element a i j and a joint of matrix a is denoted by this one it is denoted by a joint of a and it is given by a joint of a is equal to the transpose of the matrix of cofactors so a joint of a is given by this form now a square matrix a is invertible invertible or non singular if and only if the determinant of a is different from 0 different from 0 if a is invertible then a inverse is given by this equation the inverse of the matrix will be given by this formula that is a inverse is equal to a joint of a divided by determinant of a so this how is a formula to evaluate inverse of a given matrix now let's continue to example here we are asked to find the inverse of matrix a where matrix a is given to be it is 2 1 0 1 1 4 minus 3 2 5 to find the inverse of this matrix we need to find you know this how to inverse the formula is equal to this a joint a joint of matrix a divided by determinant of the determinant of a this is a formula therefore we need to find a joint of matrix a and its determinant so let's see this together now to find that joint we need to find the cofactors of 
each entry, the cofactors of each entry. Uh, so that will give us the cofactor matrix. So let's find that. Therefore, here, C11, this part, you cancel these two, you get this, the determinant of 1, 2, 4, 5. 1, 2, 4, 5, negative 1, the power of 1 plus 1. It gives you negative 3. And the cofactor of 2, 1, 2, or it's the cofactor of this number is simply delete this column in this row. You get 1, negative 3, and 4, 5, this result. So, and negative 1 times negative 1, the power of 1 plus 2. So, it, this gives you negative 17. And next, we need to find the other cofactor, cofactor of the row. The cofactor of the row cancel this column in this row. You have this one, 1, negative 3, 1, negative 3, 1, 2. Uh, so, to find the minor, by the way, you can put this sign. This part is plus, minus, plus, minus this one, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. We can use this to find this cofactor or to find uh, the sign of this one. Therefore, uh, the cofactor of 1, 3, uh, 1, 3 is this number. It is plus, it is positive. This one is positive. And we cancel throw in column and you get 1, negative 3, and 1, 2. And the determinant of this gives you this 5. And you continue for each entry uh, uh, like this. So the next entry is 1, 1. So the cofactor of 1, uh, it is minus here. Cancel these two, you get 1, 2, 0, 5. The result gives you negative 5. And then the cofactor of the next number 1. It's the sign is plus. This is, it gives you plus. And cancel these two, you get 2, 3, 0, 5. 2, negative 3, I mean. And 0, 5. So for this in 3, 4, 4, the sign is it is minus. This one is minus. This one is minus. And canceling its 0 and column and that 4 belongs. The, the remaining part will be 2 minus 3 and 1, 2. 2 minus 3 and 1, 2. And the result, you get minus 7, 4, C to 3. C to 3. And you continue. Let's find the cofactor of negative 3. Minus sign, you put minus sign. This one it is plus. Because uh, 3 plus 1 is it is 4. Negative 1, the power of 4 is positive, so plus. So when you cancel this row and column, you get 1, 1, 0, 4. 1, 1. Therefore, so this result gives you this 4. And uh, C3 to this number, the sign it is minus. And uh, when you cancel the row and the column and that 2 belongs, you get to 1 and 0, 4. To 1, 0, 4. Therefore, the determinant of this value together with this one gives, gives you minus 8. And the next one, 5. So the sign is it is plus when you delete 0 and column, uh, uh, the 5 belongs, you get 2, 1, and 1, 1. 2, 1, 1, 1. So this result gives you 1. Therefore, we have found the cofactor of each entry. And we have found uh, the cofactor matrix. So the cofactor matrix, minus 3, minus 5, 4, 17, 10, and minus 8. And... 5 minus 7 and 1. 5 minus 7 and 1. So this, the, the transpose of this cofactor matrix, the, the transpose of this cofactor matrix gives you this, the adjoint. Therefore, the adjoint of uh, uh, this matrix A given by this, taking the transpose, minus 3, minus 17, 5. This row written in column 4, minus 3, minus 17, 5. You write in this form, minus 5, 10, minus 7. Column 4, minus 5, 10, minus 7, 4, minus 8, 1, 4, I mean 4, negative 8, 1, 4, negative 8, 1. So this is a joint of the given matrix A. Then what remains is the joint is we found this one, the joint, and the cofactor matrix is we have found this one, and matrix A is given. So what remains is the determinant of A. The determinant of A is given by selecting any row or column and multiplying that by this cofactor. For, for our case, I select the first row. Our matrix A is here. 
and the cofactor of this matrix A is here. Therefore, the cofactor of 2 here is negative 3. The cofactor of 1, minus 17. The cofactor of 0 is 5. Therefore, multiplying this, you get the determinant. Determinant of A equal to 2 times negative 3 plus 1 times negative 17 plus 0 times 5, you get negative 23. By the way, you can use any row or column to determine the determinant of that matrix. So, now, next to this, what remains here is finding or calculating A inverse. To calculate A inverse, A inverse equal to adjoint of A over determinant of A, or 1 over determinant of A times adjoint of A. So, this equal to, we have found uh, determinant of A. The determinant of A is this negative 23. Therefore, 1 over negative 23, it means that negative 1 over 23 times a joint of A. We have found the joint of matrix A, this number. So, this is the result. So, multiplying this matrix by negative 1 over 23, you get the result. Negative 1 over 23 times negative 3, it is 3 over 23. The product of negative 1 over 23 and negative 5, it is 5 over 23. The product of negative 1 over 23 times 4, it is negative 4 over 23, and so on. So, therefore, therefore, the inverse of matrix A is equal to it is this result. This is how uh, we evaluate inverse of a matrix. Now, let's continue to the other part. Now, the next uh, concept is it is Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule in solving system of linear uh, equation. Now, uh, determinants can be used to solve. We use determinants to solve system of linear equations with equal number of equations with unknown variables, with unknowns. So, now let's see how to apply the Kramer's rule. Now let's take this system of equation is given a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to d in the second equation a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to e and a3x plus b3y plus C c3z is equal to f. This system of equation has exactly one solution provided that the determinant of the coefficient matrix is different from zero or non-zero, which means that the determinant of coefficient matrix means uh, this A1, I can write here, A1, next A2, A3, here B1, B2, B3, and C1, C2, C3. This is, this is a coefficient matrix for this system of linear equation. If the determinant of this coefficient matrix is non-zero, implied that the system of equation has exactly one solution. And we can calculate uh, the solution using this form. Okay, so to find or to solve the value of x, you use this formula, x equal to this dx over d, and y is equal to this dy over d, and z is equal to, it is dz over d. d means it is the determinant of coefficient matrix. The coefficient matrix here it is a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. The determinant of the coefficient matrix is, is d. It is for all, the denominator is d. Therefore, d is it is the determinant of the coefficient matrix. And dx. dx is simply, it is uh, the coefficient matrix a little bit uh, modified. How? Dx simply, you change the coefficient of x by the solution, by this one. 
So, uh, therefore, here you will have what? The coefficient will be, the coefficient matrix will be for dx will be this, d, e, f, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. Therefore, dx is equal to this, the determinant of d, e, f, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. The determinant of this gives you dx. Similarly, dy is also, uh, it's a coefficient matrix a little bit modified. Uh, so uh, the determinant of coefficient matrix by changing the coefficient of y by this one. Therefore, dy is equal to this a1, a2, a3. This is changed by the solution, def, and then c1, c2, c3. So the determinant of this is dy. And z is equal to this dz over d, the determinant of the coefficient matrix of z uh, is simply you need to change the coefficient of matrix uh, of this part by the solution. Therefore, dz is equal to simply a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, but this is changed by the solution. Therefore, here dz is equal to a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, this part is changed by df. Therefore, z is equal to the determinant of uh, z coefficient matrix over the coefficient matrix will be give us the value of z. Therefore, this is a formula to evaluate system of equations using uh, Kramer's rule. Now let's see example for this. By the way, you can uh, use for three or more equations to uh, solve system of equation using Kramer's rule. For our purpose, let's use this one as an example to solve this solution. Solution. X is equal to it is dx divided by d. Therefore, this equal to dx means it's a coefficient matrix by changing the coefficient of x. Therefore, it is a determinant of this part will be changed by 2, 3. Here, 2, 3, and negative 4, 7. Divided by the determinant of Coefficient matrix is this one, 3, 7, negative 4, 7. The determinant of 3, negative 4, and 7, 7. So this equal to 7 times 2, it is 14, minus 3 times negative 4 is this, negative 12. So this becomes plus 12 divided by, uh, this result it is 7 times 3 is 21, 21 minus 28, 7 times negative 4 is negative 28, so minus minus becomes this plus 28. Therefore, this equal to 14 plus 12 is 26 divided by 21 plus 28 is this 49, 40. 9. So this is the value of x. And uh, let's try to evaluate the value of y. y is equal to simply it is dy divided by d. So this equal to dy is simply a coefficient matrix by changing the coefficient of y by the solution by this number. Therefore, this equal to this, the determinant of 3, 7, 3, 7. And this part is changed by the solution, 2, 3. 2, 3 divided by the coefficient matrix, determinant of coefficient matrix. Since D we have found here, it's 49. No need of doing again. So this equal to. Uh, this result will be, it is 3 times 3, it is 9, minus 7 times 2, it is 14. Divided by the determinant of 
the coefficient matrix it is 49 49 so this equal to 9 minus uh, 14 this equal to it is negative negative 5 divided by 49 so this will be this, the final answer so this is how to apply the Kramer's rule okay so therefore the solution set is this x is this uh, 26 over 49 and y is this negative 5 over 49 so to summarize what we have seen today is the first concept that we have seen today is uh, about the inverse a square matrix A is invertible if and only if its determinant is different from zero. And if A has inverse or if A is invertible, then the inverse of A is given by this formula. It is a joint of A over determinant of A. And uh, if we have such system of equation to solve this using Kramer's rule, what you do is x is equal to this dx over d, where dx is this a coefficient matrix where the coefficient of x is changed by the solution. And y is also it is dy by d, uh, where d is it is uh, the determinant of coefficient matrix, and dy is it is the determinant of co coefficient matrix where the coefficient of y is changed by the solution. And z is equal to this dz over d, uh, which is equal to d is this, the determinant of coefficient matrix, and dz is the determinant of a coefficient matrix where, where the coefficient of z is changed by the solution. So this is the formula to solve system of equations applying Kramer's rule. So these are all about uh, today's lesson so for you to try i'll give you exercise please try uh, this question find the inverse of this matrix and solve this system of linear e equation using kramer's rule so this is all about today's lesson Antin Lake's class. Goodbye.